in this video i will show you how to save graphs in origin as a tiff png or any other file format you can also change the dpi of this graph according to the journal requirement let's get started after making the graph as you can see we have excess white space around the graph which we don't want so to remove this right click go up to fit page to layers option and under the margin control select here tight and click ok so all the excess white border will be removed now to send this graph directly to the word or powerpoint at the left side you will see two options send graphs to word and send graph to powerpoint if you click on any one of the option you will see this window just click ok and the graph will be sent to the word file now remember we have directly sent this graph to the word document and we don't know the dpi of this image to have a control over the dpi go up to file option click on export graphs and click on open dialog or you can also use the shortcut key ctrl plus g you will see this window now pay attention under the image type you will see various file formats for the research papers generally png jpg format or a tiff format is selected here i will select the option tiff now under the file name just enter the name of the graph under the path select where you want to save the graph now scroll down at the bottom and you will see this option image settings now here we can change the dpi or set the dpi of the graph under this dpi resolution you will see here there are many dpi options in general for the color graphs 300 to 600 dpi is used and for the black and white graphs 1000 to 1200 dpi is used so just select the dpi according to the need if the dpi is not listed here according to your need you can just type the dpi and then click on ok now we have saved the graph now as you can see the saved graph is very neat and clean and if you want to check the properties of this graph you can go to the details option and here you can see that the dpi of this image is 1200 now check out this very useful origin tutorial video series to learn more about origin. See you again in the next video.